Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question, a little late and I'm sorry, comes from March 27th. This is from Mike Bavoso, W6YDE. And I do apologize for the lateness. I discovered I had a whole bunch of emails I hadn't looked at. Some of these have very interesting questions. He says, enjoy your videos on any antenna other than a ground-mounted vertical, like a dipole or a Yagi, where one side of the dipole or one side of the Yagi is grounded at the mast. The grounding, lightning protection, and more is only one side of the antenna radiating. And, um, Mike, the answer to your question is that both sides are radiating. And let's just take a look at what that is. Okay, here's a dipole. We'll make one half blue, one half red. And so this comes down the coax like this. Okay, this will be the outside of the coax, which is grounded inside the shack and outside at the lightning arrestor. Now at the lightning arrestor, which goes here, okay, there is a little, it's called a gas discharge tube. There's an electrode, an electrode, a gas in here, and when you get a strong electrical voltage in here, this thing will arc across and short that to ground. Okay, but normally, this is connected to ground. This is not connected to ground because this goes right into your radio. Now, what's going on here? Well, don't forget we have DC and AC. And we say at DC, this is grounded. So if we were to, say, put a, light, uh, a battery down here, and I do this sometimes to check coax, and we put a little light right there, it would glow. Okay, that's DC. DC is defined as zero hertz. Okay, zero hertz. Anything above zero hertz is AC. So the AC is not only just AC, it is in the megahertz range. So let's say 7 million cycles per second or hertz in the modern vernacular. This AC is 7 million times. Now, this right here hits up here, and it ignores the fact that at DC, one is at ground potential. It's ground potential here, sure, but it's not up here. In fact, the transmission line separates it from ground. And while this may be ground at DC, it is most decidedly not ground at AC. It is 7 million hertz, and both sides here radiate. You've got your standard classic current curve here, okay? So both sides will radiate. Now, in the event of a lightning strike, lightning has a high AC component. So that's why the outside of the shield here is grounded at the lightning protector, which is by the ground rod that's right outside your shack in the ground, outside the house. And then this other one is um, protected via this gas discharge tube, which goes over to this side right here. And then everything is copacetic going on inside here. Now, the fact that this is grounded here, remember this is what we call unbalanced. And if you don't put a ballon up here, this will be unbalanced. If you do put a ballon up here, you can still get DC through, which will bleed off the charges up here. Now, this side over here, it won't bleed off the charges until the charges get up enough to bridge the gap in there. And that's a few volts, like 20 or 30, and then that will take care of that charge and put it down there. Now, you can also put a ballon up here that just takes the unbalanced and converts it to balanced because a dipole is inherently a balanced antenna, as is a Yagi, although it depends on the way you feed it. So, 
the reason that one side is grounded is simply because it is at DC. However, AC, even up here, 7 megahertz, 7 million cycles per second, the circuit could care less what happens to it at ground. So I hope that answers your question. <clears throat> so Mike, I hope that answers your question and tells you a little bit about the difference that you're asking about here, one side grounded, is a direct current type of thing that you just don't see at radio frequencies, which don't mind that one side is DC grounded. The rest of it works just fine. You know, it actually works the same in that vertical you were talking about. The only point that's at DC ground is right at the center of your radial system where you've got a ground rod or something, and that's what the shield connects to. It's only grounded in the very center. All those radials out there, this is why I recommend insulated wire, uh, are actually functioning as a counterpoise to the main antenna. Okay, in fact, the word in the dictionary counterpoise refers to a radial system, but in ham radio we use it uh, for much larger terms to mean anything an antenna can work against, which is very often capacitive in nature. So there you have it. I hope that helps. If you'd like to know more, uh, send another question to askdave at arrl.org. That's how to get in touch with me. The best way to get in touch with me if you're a patron is to use the patron messaging system. Uh, next, if you can go to askdave at arrl.org and you can also go to PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado 81432. Uh, any way you do it is fine. I'll try to answer the questions if I can. Some I will answer quickly. Uh, like with an email response, some with a short video, and a few, not very many, about three or four months uh, in the monthly QSD column called Ask Dave. Until we next meet, 73.